Today I'm out here at Lining Kugel's Disc Golf Course, which is the perfect name for a course considering that we're in Wisconsin. This amazing track is designed by Kaylee Visca, and I think it's one of the most fun courses I've ever played. My only goal today is to beat my personal course record of 13 under and to show you all this awesome course. Hole one is a real separator hole. It's a par four with a wide open tee shot. Put your drive in a good position and you'll be looking at a birdie. I choose the left side because it gives me a much more open hyzer to approach the basket. It's about 40 feet uphill, so you're gonna have to throw it harder than you think. This was a nice easy birdie. Hole two might look simple, but it is definitely not. You have to get the angle precise. You can see here, I thought I threw a really good shot, but I'm 30 feet away and I'm in a tree. This is amazing. Yeah. I heard metal. Hole three, 340, wide open. Must get birdie. I'm going with my big Z zone, just put it nice and close. Get in. Ooh, nice and close. And I foot faulted. I probably sound like an idiot now. I thought I was parked from the tee, but I'm actually like 40 feet away. Let's make it. There we go. These first few holes might look really open right now, but I think if you give this course five or 10 years when all these trees grow up, it's gonna end up being a really tough course. Hole four, 425, just a little high flexor. Here, I just went way too nose up. I was kind of fatigued this day because I was sick, so that's why this shot is absolutely horrible. Not my best effort on the putt, but that's par. Not the worst hole to par. Coming in at 210 feet, you can do whatever you want on hole five. Just make sure you don't clip one of these trees and you'll be good for a park job. Here I threw my sky god on the wide hyzer and that was a nice easy birdie. Hole six, all about speed control. It's down the hill and you just wanna throw it straight. Here I went a little bit too far, but as you can see, about 20 feet away and that's a birdie. Hole seven presents three different plays. I elect to go with the safest play, which is to throw a shot over the tops of all the trees so that you can avoid them. I execute this, Okay, not my best effort, but still, that's inside the circle, and hopefully I can make this putt. All right, finally got a little bit of peace and quiet. Hole eight, dead straight, my favorite hole on the course. 295, just throw a mid-range, throw a fairway, whatever you feel comfortable hitting the gap with, and just keep doing it. Oh, that's bad. Knew it. <laughs> Gotta make a putt. I've got a 70 footer here for birdie. If I make this, cool. But if not, then I can only take one more par for the rest of the round to beat my course record. And there's some hard holes coming up. I hate this golf. Why does the comeback have to be hard too? That was a good putt. This hole is a forehand hole, but I'm not a forehand player, so it's a backhand hole. Anyway, normally I'd throw my P2, but yesterday it cracked in half. So I'm gonna try out a new disc, it's the Fierce, just kind of throw it flat, let it park it. Yep. So hole 10 is a really awesome hole. As you see here on the T sign, it's dead straight and goes left. Looks really typical, but then you look at the actual hole itself. This is what you got. Straight tunnel, goes all the way down there. Then once you think it's all over, it goes left down a hill. It says 270, I think 330. I like it. I like it a lot. Got a little branch kissy thing there, but I think that's good. Thought I parked it, but I ended up going 50 feet past. All right, no more pars. This is getting really bad, okay? We're through 11 holes, four pars. I can't take any more pars. 
All right, this hole right there, maybe we can get an ace. I hope so. Oh yeah, that's a good par. I mean birdie. I don't know why I said par. Ugh, okay. All right, 390, uphill, little flex shot. It's actually a really good ace run because you really want to push low ceiling. So I'm a lot of speed. I go high speed driver just so I can get the nice speed and a skip up. So if it goes in, that's a bonus. We got a headwind, so I'm going extra stable here. It's stabler. Eh. Oh yeah, I make that. I can make that. I'm not saying I will make it, but I can. I missed it. Now I have to get an ace. But this is the most aceable hole on the course. 235. It's over a ravine, but wide open. And I feel like I've got a good chance right now. Birdie again. Mm, dang it. All right, hole 16. This is 310 uphill. One of the hardest holes on the course. You just want to hit the straight gap and then kind of drift right like the same shape as the last hole but significantly uphill and it's a really hard angle hole 17 just a little hyzer 320 That's good. Might be the best shot I've thrown on this hole. <sighs> this was so close to going in. It just must have spiked right down and just barely missed it. All right, hole 18, it's pretty far. 650 and it plays uphill, plus we have a headwind. But if I can birdie this hole, I'm not gonna beat my course record, but at least I'm gonna shoot a respectable 12 down. I didn't read the wind super well there, so I'm left with kind of a longer upshot, but we're gonna put this close. Close enough. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in next week's video.